Welcome back. May 7th marked the 38th anniversary of the end of the Vietnam era. And just like most of American culture, Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany has drastically changed. In 1975, the Vietnam era came to a close, leaving a lifetime's worth of questions and a supply station in Albany receiving a new title. We had two supply centers here in Barstow, California. Uh, and there's some other functions added into that that made it a Marine Corps logistics base. That included the movement of the Marine Corps Supply Activity Center from Philadelphia down to Albany, bringing the full spectrum of logistics to the Good Life City. But before that move, the base looked a bit different than the one we know today. It was quite different then. There was a lot of things that's here now that was not here then. Uh, of course, one of the primary things that was here that you don't see so much of now was Marines. There was a lot of Marines aboard this base back during that year. Time. Marines were assigned to work as mechanics, warehouse detail, and in the overall preparation of supplies to be shipped to soldiers fighting in Vietnam, something veterans say they couldn't have lived without. It is so crucial in a, in a wartime effort to, to get the needed supplies. I mean, it is so, even the smallest things. And Laney says bases like MCLB Albany to other countries is a novelty. People just don't have, I mean, other, other countries don't have that uh, uh, logistics to, to do that, and I guess that's why they always call on the United States. In wartime, MCLB Albany has certainly provided a service, one that has changed over the years, but with one common goal, keep our soldiers prepared and ready for battle. And through the process of digging up all the different information there, I also learned that two main supplies are what soldiers in Vietnam looked forward to most, dry socks and toilet paper.